Hi everyone, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do an experiment. Let me tell you what I did. I bought a lot from Bulk.com, but it's not just about a lot from Bulk.com. I decided to try to meet very specific criteria to see if it's possible to make money on the quote unquote cheap lots that bulk.com advertises. So I've heard people talk time and time again, whether it's in comment section of my videos or DMs that I get or things that someone told me that their second cousin's best friend's boyfriend told them about bulk.com. And that is that you can really only make money with lots from bulk.com if you buy the really expensive ones or the expensive pallets. There's all of this talk that you can't buy an inexpensive lot from bulk.com and actually make money. People say that the lots with that are $100 or less with shipping are just pure junk. You can't make any money off of them. So I decided to try that out myself. So oh, the first bit of criteria that I followed for myself when I bought this lot right here was that I wanted it to be at most $100. Now, it was really hard for me to meet both of the criteria that I was trying to hit, I'll get to the other part in just a second, and stay at exactly 100 or below. I actually ended up spending $103 with shipping. Uh, I paid $73 for the lot itself, plus a $30 ship charge so that made the total lot all in a hundred and three dollars uh, because the other bit of criteria that I wanted to hit was I wanted most of the lot to be mystery so if you've bought from bulk.com before or you've heard me talk about bulk.com before you know that they have manifests with all of their lots so I wanted to find a manifest where almost half of the items were a complete mystery. They were just marked as general merchandise with an average retail value. Uh, most of the time whenever I buy lots, I like to make sure that the manifest is as detailed as possible because as I know you've heard me talk about before, whenever I do look at manifests, I want to calculate my uh, my actual sales from the manifest before I even buy it because that's how I determine whether or not a lot is worth my time. So I look at the manifest, I determine how much money I think I'll get back and then from there I decide whether or not I'm going to buy the lot right then and there or if I'm just going to watch it and wait for the price to go down. This lot, however, not only was it $73 plus the $30 ship charge, but almost half of the items were a complete mystery. It's a complete toss up. Most of the items just said general merchandise, average of $10. And so half of this box, I don't know if I'm gonna make any money on it or not. This is all an experiment. This is literally just to see if you could throw down $100 on bulk.com and make any money off of their boxes or if their boxes that are around $100 or less with shipping are just complete and total junk. We're about to find out right now. Another one of the criteria uh, that I wanted to hit is I wanted it to be a brand new lot. I didn't want to do uninspected returns because that does involve a lot more risk because the whole purpose of this entire experiment is to see if we can make money. I didn't want to pick a lot that would have been uninspected returns and be unmanifest. I didn't want to pick a lot that was both uninspected returns and a complete mystery and end up losing my hundred dollars. That wasn't the point. The point of this video and the point of this lot is to say, I only have a hundred dollars to spend on book.com. Can I actually make money? That's the experiment we're doing today. So these items are all general merchandise. It's not specifically a beauty lot or an electronics lot or anything like that. It is all general. Already I like what I see. Already, I just opened the box. Oh yes, I did forget to mention some, some key things we will need to know. There are 62 items in this box. Six, two, 62 items. And so with the 103 cost, that makes my average per item $1.66. And these are all brand new. 
I will say that with my experience buying uh, lots from bulk.com in the past, the lots that tend to be less expensive, like I think up to this point, the the least expensive the lot has been that I've bought is maybe like $170, $200 with shipping. Uh, my experience is that most of the cheaper lots at bulk do better if you are looking to sell locally as opposed to selling online. Because once you get into the habit of factoring in things like platform fees and shipping costs, sometimes the profit's not there. Uh, so I have a feeling a lot of this stuff I'm going to look at selling locally just because it's not going to be worth it to do it online. Okay. All right, so this is a Buxton charging valet. So it's just basically a little tray where you uh, charge all of your devices. It's got a little thingy-mabob here for your cord and you just, you can lay your tablets in here, your phones, all of that stuff. Uh, the retail on it is $19.99. Uh, clearance sticker is $5.98. This, I have no doubt I would be able to sell locally for $5. Easy. Uh, I might even be able to get more like six, excuse me, I might be able to get more like six or seven dollars locally for this, uh, but there's no doubt that I'll be able to get that. And remember, my cost of goods per item is roughly $1.66. That's it. So just pulling out the first thing, I'm already profitable. Really hope all the good stuff's just not on the top. <laughs> I don't want all the good stuff to be on the top. Uh, so this is a Brita stream with filter as you pour. So it looks like the filter is here. You put the water in and as you pour the water into your cup, it filters it. Uh, not sure what the price is. Uh, the original price because there's only uh, there's only like a marker sticker for Target on here. So I don't know what the the regular retail price is on this, uh, but I don't doubt I could sell it locally for ten bucks. And it is brand new, still has the uh, the seal all around it. This is a hearth and hand with uh, magnolia canvas and letter le letter canvas and leather cosmetic pouch. So it's a Magnolia brand cosmetic bag. Brand new. Uh, tag on it is $12.99. No doubt I can sell that for five bucks. Easy peasy. All right, so this is a throw of some kind. So room essentials throw. It's just a throw blanket. Uh, it's got little little pom-pom balls on all the corners. It is super duper soft. Uh, let's see. This is something I think one of my kids is probably gonna end up confiscating because it's so soft. But if I did sell it locally, I know that I could get two or three dollars out of it, which again, my cost of goods is only a dollar sixty-six. So even if I sell it for two dollars, that's still profit. Okay, so this is fun. There's a couple of these. Uh, this is a cast iron bottle opener. Uh, it looks like a fun dad gift. It's a wrench and it's a bottle opener and it's made of cast iron. The original price is $8.99, marked down to $2.68. Uh, I have no doubt I can sell these for three or four dollars locally each. Those are kind of cool. I like those. Or maybe I'll keep them as gifts. I give one to my brothers. All right, let's see. This is some sort of, let's see. I don't know, it's some sort of a decorative hugs, XOXO, bestie, something for Valentine's Day. Um, I would just put this at a, out at a garage sale. This is probably the first thing I've pulled out so far where I really don't see a lot of value. Uh, this is something I just put out at a garage sale for maybe a buck. Uh, even though it does seem to be geared towards uh, Valentine's Day, I do think that a, a little girl would like to put it up in her room because it does say things like bestie and cute and all of that. So that is probably the only thing that's a loss so far. Um, but even then, I know someone will buy it. Oh, 
Here's another cosmetic pouch. The same canvas and leather magnolia pouch. All right, so this is just a little Tonka truck for little boy. Uh, price tag on here is $5.99. I would probably just stick this out at a garage sale for two bucks. Uh, but again, still profitable. This I will probably end up taking a loss on, but it's for a baby. It's by Carter's. Uh, it's just a little, a little elf hat. <laughs> it's just, it's just a little, just a little elf hat for a baby. Uh, again, this is something that I'll, I'll, I will either save to list online for maybe, you know, seven or eight dollars with free shipping closer to Christmas, or I just put it out at a garage sale for a dollar. All right, and this is a extra small pet pajamas. Pet pajamas <laughs> fits little dogs or cats up to 10 pounds. Uh, original price tag, $10. No doubt I can get $3 for that, easy. What is this? This is a Jojo bow. Jojo. Um, price tag on this is $7.99. I'd probably sell this for $2 locally. This is a wet brush. <laughs> this is the exact same one that I have. Exact same color pink. Um, it is out of the packaging though. I don't know why. Usually they come in boxes. Uh, but it does not appear to be used uh, because of that reason. Just because it's not in the original packaging, I, I would not sell this at all uh, because I wouldn't feel comfortable not being 100% positive that it has never been used, but I'm looking at it and I see not one fleck of dust. Like, I know you probably can't. I do not see one fleck of dust, not one nothing. So I'm thinking that it has never been used. I will probably just, we'll just keep this in the house um, because wet brushes are amazing if you've never used a wet brush. I'll just keep that around. These appear to be some sort of napkin or bar cloth of some kind. Uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I will either keep these because you could always use more little cloths like this. I'll either keep it or sell it for $2, $3 at a garage sale. Probably $3. Ooh, here's another one of those bottle openers. So far, if you see what I'm talking about, I don't see anything here that would do really good online. Like... With a dollar sixty six cost, the cost of goods is still really low. But when you factor in stuff like shipping and listing and uh, platform fees and stuff, there's not really a lot of profit to be made. But locally, it's all profit. Silly string. I put that out for a dollar at a garage sale. Again, it's a little bit of a loss, but I think I'm making enough money on the other stuff to absorb it. All right, this is a. Goodfellows hook and loop wallet. She can't say Velcro. Hook and loop wallet. Uh, just a really simple wallet. It was marked down to two ninety nine. I would probably sell it for two or three dollars at the garage sale. This is a slicker brush. Removes mats, undercoats, and excess hair from long or dense dog coats. Easily sell this for five dollars. So I have a couple of these slippers. Slippers, let's see. Oh, I wonder if these are Benjamin size. Size 13 to 1. What size shoe does Benjamin wear? I think Benjamin's in a 10. So they might be a little big for him. So they'll get sold. Um, yeah, size 13 to 1. Um Original price, original price is $12.99, marked down to $6.49. I am sure that I could get four or five dollars per set at a garage sale. Here's another doggy or cat pajamas. Ooh, more bottle openers. Like that.
No idea what this is. This is a definite loss. No idea. It's some random ball. It's like a, it's a lightweight enough to be a ping pong ball, but it has some sort of markings on it. If you know what it is, put it in the chat because I don't have a clue, but that's all it is. Massager. Oh yeah. Uh, dollar at a garage sale. Secret antiperspirant. So this is deodorant, it's antiperspirant. Um, since it doesn't appear, it's in a bag, but it doesn't appear to have any sort of seal on it. It wasn't in a box, I wouldn't feel comfortable selling it to anybody, so... I don't know, I'll probably, you know, let's just open it. Let's just do this right here. Let's just do this right now. I have never, oh, it smells fantastic. Oh my God, that smells good. Okay, I'll keep it. I'm not, I'm not above keeping this just because it wasn't sealed and wasn't in a box. You can look at this and tell it has not been used. Like it has not been used. I'm keeping this, it smells great. Oh man. All right, this is a good fellow from Target. Not quite sure what it is. It's some sort of a, I'm scared to pull everything out, but it definitely expands. I might check the manifest. It looks, it's got a big old strap. It looks like it expands into some sort of a duffel but I don't want to pull it out. But that's what it reminds me of. It looks like some sort of like a, a weekend bag or a duffel travel bag of some kind. And it just folds together in this cute little pouch. Um, regular price is, come on, $19.99. So surely I could sell out for seven or eight bucks. I don't know what is going on with this today. Pardon my crazy hair. All right, what are you? All right, this appears to be a blackout curtain. This is a blackout curtain of some kind. It's a curtain. Not sure what the value is, but I'm sure I can get three or four dollars out of it. Oh no! All right, so there's some more JoJo bows, but I accidentally pulled one off. There's another three. I gotta put the JoJo bow back on the... All better. Those are some pretty crazy looking bows. Oh, well, this is fun. A elephant corkscrew. Price on this is $14.99. Uh, so surely I could get five bucks out of it selling it locally. That's on the low end. I might I might start it at like seven and negotiate down. Ooh, here's another one of these Brita pitchers. I, I'm thinking 10 bucks on that easy. Another one of the wrench bottle openers. Well, this is a super fun phone case. Look at that. It's like a, a rubbery silicone kind of feel. It's for the iPhone 6, 7, and 8 Plus. That is a fun phone case. Look at that. Uh, these cell phone cases usually retail for like $19.99, so surely I can sell this for 10 bucks. Easy peasy. That one I might go ahead and put on eBay. Same thing here, it's a spec phone case. Uh, 10 feet drop tested, nice. What's this one for? This is for the iPhone XR. Wow, retail on this is $44.99. $44.99, uh, so I might go ahead and put that on eBay. More wrenches, there's three more. There's another one of those hook and loop wallets. Two or three bucks for that. Oof, 
wonderful. It's Scotch transparent tape. I love transparent tape. I am going to keep these. This is not brand new. This is out of box. It's some sort of uh, a Beyblade releaser. Um, this is gonna be like 50 cents at a garage sale. So taking a loss on that, but I honestly think I'm doing pretty good in profit on, uh, on everything in here. Uh, maybe I'll tally it up. Maybe when I, maybe when I edit the video, I'll tally everything up and then I'll put in the video description what I expect the profit to be. Look down in the video description, see if my estimated profit is there. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm not keeping track right now, but while I'm editing the video, maybe I'll keep track. Maybe check the video description. Maybe it'll be there. Uh -uh. Hearth and Hand Magnolia, I have two here. It looks like these are just little leather, yep, leather coin purses. They're just little leather and they are genuine leather. Little coin purses. Uh, retail on these are $9.99. I am sure I could sell these locally for, you know, three, four dollars a piece. More wrench bottle openers. Here's another red hook and loop men's wallet. And here's a blue hook and loop men's wallet. This is dirty. <laughs> Why are you dirty? What the hell? Anyway, it is a Bueno coffee cup. It needs to be wiped down. It's like crap splattered all over it. You're not used, are you? Please don't be used. If you're used, I will complain. Nope, not used. Brand spanking new, but I do need to wipe it off. It's sticky. Why am I sticky? Uh, so I'm not sure what the retail value is of Bueno coffee travel mugs, uh, but I'm sure that I could sell this for four or five dollars. Whoa. This is some sort of a kinetic sand squishy stress ball. Well, I'll probably just give these to my kids or I'll play with it myself. I need to work on my hand strength. My hands have been getting really tired, so maybe I'll just, these are fun. Silly putty buddies. Again, this is something else I might just give to my kids or put out for like 50 cents at a garage sale, but not a whole lot of value there. Thomas and Friends Minis. Again, this is something, I think it's only worth maybe $5 retail, so I'll just put it out at a garage sale for a buck. This is a Goodfellow, just looks like a little ID holder, uh, $4.99, sell it for a dollar. So these have definitely been opened disposable placemats uh but they're just like cute little for a little baby uh definitely been opened i don't think i'm gonna cause a stink with bulk.com over that though because even if they were in brand new condition i would still only sell them for like two dollars at a garage sale so i'm not gonna cause a stink with bulk because this is not brand new condition um because I, it wouldn't have sold for much anyway but $2 at a garage sale. I'm sure I will get my money back on that. It's another set of slippers. This is some sort of a corkscrew bottle opener device. A uh, couple bucks for that. This is some, looks like a luggage tag, Goodfellows luggage tag, price tag on it is $3.99. Uh, again, this is something that I would either keep for myself to use while I travel or just a dollar at a garage sale. So a little bit of a loss on it. Same thing with this one. This is a $5 leather uh, luggage tag, keychain of some kind. Again, probably 50 cents or I'll just keep it. 
These are Cat and Jack hair clips. Original price is $4.99, just a dollar at a garage sale, so a little bit of a loss there. Not sure what this is. Um, it's Lego and it's silicone. Is it just like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. But I'd sell it at a garage sale for a couple of bucks. The new Lego movie just came out. I am sure someone will want to buy it for their kid just as decor. But it's, it gets squishy. It almost looks like it would go on like a lamp or something. I don't know. But I'm sure someone will buy it. And the last thing is one of these little, whatever it was it looked like, it was a travel bag inside of a small pouch, but this one is red instead of blue or green, whatever the other one is. Uh, again, the price tag is $19.99, so surely five, six, seven dollars for that. That's everything inside the box, it's all gone. I. I'm really impressed with this box. <laughs> um, now granted, it's all stuff that I'm mostly going to sell locally, but still, I, I have no doubt that I will get my money back. And I believe I will get my money back in one day of selling things locally individually or just putting it out at a garage sale. There's no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna make my money back and then a significant profit for one day's worth of work. Um, and of course, all of this stuff is gonna get added to other stuff I'm selling locally, so it's not like I'm gonna spend my entire day just selling this stuff. There's gonna be numerous other things with it. So I'm very, very happy with the $103 that I spent. So. I would say it is possible. I would say if you want to buy from bulk.com, you do still need to be picky, but you don't have to expect to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on lots or pallets in order to do that. I do think that you could very easily take a, an amount of money like $100 and flip it into 200 and then flip that into 300 and then you can go into the area of buying the pallets or the really expensive electronic lots. I do think it's absolutely possible to just start low on the, on the less expensive lots and just keep rolling your money over and over again until you can afford to buy the big lots. So that that was the experiment. I think I succeeded and hopefully while I'm editing this video I will put up the tally expected net profits down in the video description because I sure didn't keep track while I was doing the video. Whoops. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to check the video description for useful links and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more content. And I will see you guys with my next video. Bye.